Welcome to Advanced Test Equipment's video series on the Fluke 1736. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series. Links are provided at the end of this video. A great thing about the Fluke 1736 is that you can set up a virtual network connection. For this demonstration, we've downloaded an app called Mocha VNC Lite. We will now configure the app with the IP address of the Fluke 1736 to create a remote connection that allows us to control the unit from a distance of up to 30 feet. Now we are going to change the configuration to do a load study. Load studies focus on the current being drawn through the system. All we see here is current, no voltage. Pressing the logger button and edit setup, I will go over the log I prepared earlier. I will arrow down to duration. Here I have it set at 10 minutes. Next, let's look at the average time. Right now I have it set at one second, which would be good for this demonstration. So I will go ahead and press start logging. To save time, I have sped up the playback of this 10 minute recording session. To create a screenshot of your data for export, simply hold the enter button down until the image of a camera appears. You can see your screen captures by going back to the memory settings and selecting screen capture. Here you will be able to toggle between your different shots. You can also view your logging sessions by pressing F1. Now that we have finished our logging session, we can export the data to a USB drive. Once inserted, the Fluke 1736 auto detects it and the USB transfer screen appears. If you want to copy all the data to the USB, just click Enter. You can also manually export data. Go to Memory Settings, Instrument Settings, then arrow down to Copy Service Data to USB and select Enter. I have installed the Fluke Energy Analyzer Plus software on my PC. Now I will launch the program. Selecting Download Data from the top nav, the download screen will appear. Fluke software auto-detects data from the USB drives and will display your files in the drop-down menu. Click Download to import them, and then Done. I will now select Open File and Energy 1 from the drop-down. Opening our Energy 1 study, we can review the summary information. The Energy Study tab displays the results in a graphical form. The PQ study shows you the swells, interrupts, and dips that occurred, including their duration. Advanced Graph allows you to compose plots not covered in other graphical views. The Report tab allows us to selectively include data for a report. I will start my report by dragging the summary and study into it. To include graphs in my report, I will go back to the Energy Study tab and click Add Bookmark. I will do the same for my Advanced Graph. Now going back to the Report tab, I can drag the graphs into my report. I will expand the files for a quick preview and then click Export Report. Fluke Energy Analyzer Plus will now create a PDF of your report. To watch these and other videos in the series, click on the thumbnails below.